Hey everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitsenberger here at PRI and I'm in one of my favorite booths to be in. It is the Iskadarian Racing Cams booth with my man Nolan Jamora and none other than Steve Morris from Steve Morris Racing Engines. You know, Nolan, it's all about partnerships and it's about relationships in this industry and you have made some great ones. Talk about what's going on at Iski right now. Oh, we're very happy with our 2019. We had a great year and everything. And uh, one of the things we did was we were the Drag Week Cam and Lifter sponsor, and we met Steve. And uh, very fortunate to do some lifters for him. And we'll be working with Steve this year, and so we're very happy about it. Yeah. And you got to be excited about that too, because there's a little bit of backstory we'll get into in a minute about what Iski means to you, all the way back to school. You got to tell us that story. Yeah, I mean, I remember that uh, the very first performance catalog I ever got was from Iskandarian. And they had in the back of the catalog, they had the whole little tech section on how camshafts work and all this stuff. And I, that is my first manual when I would have been probably in the range of uh, like 14, 15 years old of, man, I'm looking through this thing and I'm figuring it out and the overlap. And I, I can remember, I, I can visually see Ed's picture in it. And yeah, on the, yeah, the cam. And I can still remember, you know, the little low profiles. I mean, you're 30 plus years yeah. ago, yeah. And that's got to feel good from your perspective, Nolan, because so much technology goes into what you build. Now, I want to talk to Steve about the engine that won Drag Week, but let's talk a little bit about the parts that helped make it win and your relationship that's now started directly with Steve and his company. Yeah, I mean, you know, being in business 75 years, the legacy we have is wonderful, but you have to continually innovate. That's why in our title it's Racing Cams. Racing is in our blood. And um, getting a part partner with Steve and working with him, and we've seen him out at Drag Week, but also the Street Outlaws and, and working on this lifter. So we actually designed a whole new lifter for his engine combination, and he'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, just working with people that are out in the forefront and designing things that were not possible, I mean, it's, it's amazing what the engine does. He'll tell you more about that, but uh, we couldn't be happier with the relationship that, and partnership that we're working together. And that's the thing. I mean, Steve, you really did from a clean sheet of paper, make something that nobody thought could be made, and it not only was it successful, it just flat kicked everybody's butt. What is it about that engine and working with Iski that has you know, made it an integral part of the puzzle that makes it work so well? So we started with the concept of want to have this pro-modified engine, because we need to have the pro-modified engine for horsepower, uh, but we need to have something that lives on the street, and obviously the pro-mod engines don't have water. Um, so that's where we started that from and you know there, we had already been going through the battles of trying to do custom stuff custom five inch billet motor custom other motors and then cast you know cast motors before that that stuff all breaks and probably the primary problem with the, with uh, the breakage is when it's custom one-off stuff it's custom one-off stuff and you're just screwed you're done so I wanted to come at this and use traditional uh, pro mod readily available pro modified parts from the 41x platform but in my fully water jacketed, block, cylinder heads, intake manifold, the whole deal. Um, and then still be able to use all those readily available parts that people already have. And then we're, we're developing an inventory that we're gonna have lifters, springs, push, I mean, every single part we're gonna have there in stock too, along with blocks and heads. So if you're gonna have a problem, because you're gonna have a problem at some point in time, it just is, it is what it is, uh, we're, we're ready for it. We're gonna have stuff now. You're going to have your repair stuff now. You need a head, you got a head. You need a set of lifters, hey, I got a set of lifters, no problem. If I didn't have them in stock, he's got them in stock. I mean, and that's what we wanted to work on that. And then we knew that what it took to, to make that stuff live already with the valve train side of things, and that's why I'm excited to work with Nolan and at Iski, is that uh, we already started figuring out ex you know, what it was going to take to make it to win. Now we're looking at, all right, how are we going to make these things to make as much horsepower as possible to run fives at every track, to do that whole deal, and live, <laughs> and be repairable if there is a problem. I mean, so there's a lot of little things that go along in that whole deal. And Nolan, that's where we got to go a little more technical with you. I mean, tell us a little bit more about the nuts and bolts on this lifter, because it really is been eye-opening, not only obviously to Steve, but so many high-level racers and their combinations that need something. As you put it, Steve, it needs to make power, but it's also got to live. Yeah, like drag with right? Uh, make it fast, make it last, right? That's the whole point of the, the deal. And um, this year what's happening is even in street outlaws or anything that we're doing or drag, everybody's stepping it up. And by stepping it up, we're talking more boosts all the way through in whatever category you're in, and, and that just starts breaking parts. I mean, the lifters can't handle it. 
Fortunately, we were already positioned with our Easy Roll bushing lifter that we know it takes 15, 1600 pounds open pressure, 70 PSI boosted. So you're not even really stressing them. Um, so we had it ready. We just needed to make the lifter body so that it would be aligned right in the block. And, and um, you know, we have a new Hemi one, a new 481X one, and we're doing a special one just for Steve that has a little bit of an offset. So, you know, the, the goal is to have everything as straight as possible. So if you can start from that and not have to modify anything else, it's going to live a long time. So that's the advantage that this engine is going to have. It's designed from the ground up perfect with every piece so that's what that's, I'm excited about that you know he said it wasn't even stress Steve I think that was a dare <laughs> <laughs> yeah well one of the things actually as he was talking about the, the lifter deal one of the things that that caught my attention real quick was um, that they are doing spin trying work on that stuff and then he told me about that uh, how long do you run it without oil go a couple hours without oil without because of oil. that without the oil it's, it's, uh, the trick about the material like I was trying I was telling him is that you know, the, the oil gets held to the surface, that's a trick. And what happens is under high pressure, it would normally squeeze out, but the, we have it made for us, and that oil stays that barrier. So there's no metal-to-metal -metal fatigue, because it's running on the bed of oil. Everybody knows how hydraulic pressure is so strong, but it won't burn out the oil. So it'll keep running and running. And uh, John and Dave, unfortunately, had a problem and ran the engine for 40, 50 seconds and sent the lifters back. I said, well, unfortunately, these look good. So out of the engine, you yeah, could save. Good, if the lifters were good, you could run them again, but the rest of your engine, you need to get fixed. But uh, that's the amazing thing is the, the Spintron testing from the start was very valuable. We run them way more RPM, over 10,000, that these guys really wouldn't see. And we run them for hours and hours. And then we run them without oil, so we know what the threshold is. And um, we think that's made a big difference on, on the, the engineering of it. You have to have the Spintron. It doesn't lie. <laughs> and with that testing and the Spintron and what you're putting your parts through to make sure they're last, Steve, it's got to be great to use that technology and even going forward. I mean, the SMX is probably just the beginning. I don't know what's in your head of yours, but there's, there's, a, there's another, I'm sure, innovation on the horizon. Yeah, I mean, the uh, what we did with Drag Week this year was that was the very first engine running that I built in that whole SMX platform. So, I mean, that that is the first one that's over there in Bailey's car. And so uh, we're changing all our stuff over to this, in particular into the Isky lifter and doing the Isky spring and everything and other parts, everything he's got. And we're going to start doing some Spintron work with him this year is what I'm really looking forward to. So we were the first car to go sixes at every track. Remember that, like, like it was yesterday, but now we're the first car to go fives, and we have to go fives at every track, have a five second average. Uh, and that just takes a whole other level of durability. I mean, I, even I'm amazed at how far things have turned to where this really is a pro modified car that is street driver. Not just a street driver down to the gas station and back, we're talking miles. 200 miles in dike. And if you, uh, you guys know what drag week is, it is torturous, especially in a car like that. I mean, I was, I was talking to somebody the other day, and I was saying, "Hey, that you know, uh, this is to the detriment or to uh, testament to valve train stuff is that the car never shuts off. It physically does not shut off. It stays running for about eight to ten hours a day. We shut it off just to put fuel in it, start it back up, and it is either idling or running down the highway for eight ten hours, and it still that, runs is, that is <laughs> yeah, it still goes yeah, it still goes fives at the very end, but." You know, it's uh, it's amazing, you know, and I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to doing the Spintron work, you know, I'm getting a block for him, I'm gonna, we're going to figure this whole deal out yep. because we can just keep on making it better, 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 yep. better. We'll have his heads and everything and we'll run them and, oh, yeah. uh, you know, we, this is the beginning of the relationship with us cool and, and what's good about us is we're still a family company and we can make changes on the fly, like we made that, we decided on that lifter change on the last part of the design and we had it done in just a few weeks really. Yep. So that, that was yep. really good and so I'm looking forward to that because it's, it's fun to try and break new barriers and so that's what we're going to try and do. Break parts actually. <laughs> All right guys, you know what, it was an amazing year. I was honored to be a part of 2019's Drag Week. I'm looking forward to 2020. If people want more information about any of this stuff and like myself, wasting hours and hours of watching you play around in a dyno room and you got to do it. If they want more information, where do we send them? Uh, go to my website at stevemorrisengines.com. That's stevemorrisengines.com. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, all those other places too. And uh, YouTube, we have uh, lots of videos for the last few years. Well, actually 10 years. <laughs> so there's a lot of videos out there of a lot of, lot of stuff.
Just go back to the first one and watch them all. Trust me, you'll love them. And Nolan, always a pleasure to be in the Isky Racing Cams booth. If people want more information, how do they get their hands on the best valve train stuff in the industry? Where do we send them? Uh, IskyCams.com, and then we're all over Facebook and, and Instagram. And, and uh, Steve will be stocking stuff, so they can call Steve, too. Yes, call me for all your parts. <laughs> Guys, it's PRI, it's Steve Morris Racing, and of course, Isky Racing Cams. This is PRI.